15 down, beginning P. Illicitly gained, part boiled. <sighs> These crosswords are getting desperate. Detective Reed speaking. It was Richard Thompson, the local landowner. He had an issue, and I had a case. And finally, an excuse to put down my dismal crossword. This was it, my chance, my big break. Mr. Thompson explained to me that someone had been poaching on his land, a serious crime around these parts, and worthy of a close encounter with Mr. Thompson's 12 bore, as he forcefully pointed out to me. The first suspect was Graham Miller. Everyone knew he was a poacher, but no one had caught him in the act. Well, that was about to change. Local sources led me to a small, secluded church. Perhaps the last place you'd expect to find a heinous criminal. I sat down in one of the pews and watched them from across the aisle. This looks suspicious. Miller was up to no good. Without realizing it, Miller was heading straight into my poacher's trap. At that moment, I realized the irony of the situation. There I was, presuming Miller's guilt, but I was the one with poached egg on my face. It turns out that Miller was a reformed character who turned his back on a life of petty crime. The Reverend assured me that on the night of the alleged poaching incident, Miller had been with him, preparing for his baptism. With Miller out of the frame, there was only one candidate for the crime. Mr. McGregor, farmhand and general miscreant. A trip to number 19 Pheasant Terrace beckoned. Private Detective Reed, need to ask you a few questions. Come into the light where I can see you, McGregor. <gasps> Typical. The first decent case in over a year, and I end up knocking on the wrong door. I'd accidentally stumbled into the house of the notorious gang leader whose fiendish partners in crime were planning to blow up the local dam. So, the last person they wanted knocking on their door was a detective. So, here I am, my feet cemented in a bucket, waiting for the dam to burst with a half-finished crossword in my pocket. At least there's one puzzle I can solve before I die.
One down, two words. Five and three. Completing a task badly. Hmm. 